Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka The Markster. This is video number 88 in the FreeCAD series. So they will be making this object here. I had a request in a YouTube comment to make a video showing how to make the hexagon in a cylinder, cylindrical shape. So we'll make this object today. Let me close this document. Discard changes. Create a new one. You're going to need a Curves Workbench for this. If you don't have it installed already, go to the Tools menu, Add-on Manager, Workbenches, and look for Curves. Curves, not Curved Shapes. Curves. Curved Shapes is good too. You might want to go ahead and get that one too, but Curves is the one we're going to use today. Once you get that installed, you'll need to restart. So, you're also going to need the Honeycomb Macro. And that was, which video was that? 85, I believe? Let me double check that. Yeah, 85 was the video showing the Honeycomb Macro. So, we need that macro. First, let's go to Part Workbench and create a cylinder. And we're going to make this cylinder 30 height and 30 radius. No particular reason, that's just what I'm, what I'm using. You choose whatever you want for yours. And then we run the macro, the honeycomb macro. We can hide that cylinder temporarily. And I'm going to turn elliptical grid off. I'll turn the border off, putting border offset to zero. Or we could just keep it. I'll leave it off. I want it to be a single face. And that, that border has those extra edges. So let's not deal with that. The height of the thing can be 3. That's fine. Let's make the radius bigger temporarily. Speed things up. Don't worry about that error. The length will be 30. That corresponds to the height of the uh, cylinder. And the width needs to be the cylinder's circumference which of course is pi times d where d is diameter cylinder dot radius times 2 times pi that'll be the width of the honeycomb so there's our honeycomb shaping up Separation, let's make that two millimeters. We got two millimeter wall thickness. And we'll set the radius now to, I don't know, five maybe. So that looks pretty good. Be sure you're satisfied with your honeycomb at this point before continuing because the next steps will have to be repeated. They're going to be broken if you change the honeycomb. Because we need to make, go to draft workbench, select this face, 
and make a face binder. I'll hide the honeycomb. You see, this is just a face from that top face. But if we change the dimensions of the honeycomb now, you see face 400 is this face. And due to topological naming problem, it's going to have a different number and it's going to be mapped to the wrong face. So you would need to remap the face maker to the to the face binder to the appropriate face which can be done just by editing this property here click here and type in the, the number to the the new face number which could be determined by selecting the face and look in the Python console here Move that up a little bit so the magnifier might be able to catch it. Not quite far enough. Bear with me here. So in the Python console you'll get this little comment thing. It gives you the name of that face. Face 400 that we just selected. So that's one way to get a face number that you would need to use to edit this face binder property. Now let's continue with the next steps. So now we go to curves, make the cylinder visible, select that face and use this tool here, Sketch on Surface. It's not in the menu, is it? You have to use the toolbar icon. Let me get the magnifier on there so you can see a little better. The one with the sketch. See the picture of the sketch? That's one, two, three, four from the left. So we select this face and run this tool. And that creates a sketch on the surface object. And if we expand that, you see it has a mapped sketch included as a child feature. We can hide the cylinder double click map sketch so one little problem we have is this rectangle here is construction mode rectangle must be around this object here this is what says the scaling for the sketch on search sketch on surface object I'm just going to delete that one. Make sure I'm in construction mode here. Create a new rectangle. Center it to the origin. Let's click here. This icon hides anything that's in the way. That's it right there. It's called section. Where's my tool tip? View section is what it's called. Okay, so to center our rectangle, we'll select diagonal points first, and then these origin point last and apply the symmetry constraint. This height needs to be the height of the cylinder. And this 
width needs to be a little bit more than the uh, circumference. So we'll just add one millimeter to that. That's my formula. Cylinder dot radius times two times pi plus one millimeter. So we've got our rectangle lined up now with that face binder. Next step, sketch on surface. Let's go ahead and set a few properties here. We want fill faces to true. We want offset. I'm going to make it three millimeters thick, so I'm going to go minus 1.5. This is really optional. Set thickness to three. And now, doing that first kind of speeds this next thing up because otherwise you got to keep waiting for it to recompute. Where it says extra objects, those are my settings. Offset minus one and a half, thickness three. And where it says extra objects, we're going to click on that and add the face binder there. Select the face binder. And now, when it recomputes, hopefully, we'll have that circular cylindrical honeycomb. So if I had done this offset last, then we have to sit through this each time for offset and for thickness. Ain't nobody got time for that. There's a little bit of a gap here. If you reduce the amount that I had set, that extra one millimeter, you can close this gap. I'm guessing that's one millimeter. No, it's a little more. No, let's see. Let's go to part here. Use a measuring tape. Yeah, it's one millimeter. 1.04. You can clear that out. And if we show the cylinder, you see that we're inset one and a half millimeters and the thickness is three. So if you wanted to do some, do some sort of Boolean cut or something from that cylinder, you could, or use a tube maybe, whatever your intentions are. If this is being 3D printed, it should print okay, I think, these angles. Well, these, these overhangs would be difficult. You might have to print that with support and then clean it out when you're done. That could be a challenge. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.